gives her the date rose, um, and then walks her around the corner to some motherfucking double doors that we have not seen in a minute. Who's behind the door? Temecula Not a SoundCloud Road. R&B duo. <laughs> <laughs> Not a Chloe and Hallie-esque, you know, singing sisters, no-name Instagram <sighs> duo. It's Temecula Road. Not even Leon Bridges. You know how much white people stand Leon stan Bridges? Stan Leon. I love Leon Bridges. Uh, me too. But like, Not, so does the whole Bachelor audience. You right. couldn't get him? Somebody? Yeah. We got Temecula Road. Oh my God, Temecula Road. <laughs> oh my God. Name alone. Oh. The name, I was like, well, where is Temecula? Where is Temecula Road? I don't like the sound of that. I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, this mm. country music like trio. Yeah. And they got this black couple just dancing around. Swing. I'm sure. Yeah. Matt grew up in North Carolina. Yeah, yeah. With a white mama. I'm uh-huh. sure he grew up listening to this kind of music. Maybe he even requested, you know, country yeah. music. I love that. But right. The optics of this one. They were bad. I did a deep sigh because this is what we said uh, last season. If I yeah. see this man dancing yeah. behind some double doors to some country music, mm-hmm. I'm going to be pissed. And all I could just do was shake my head and just that's it and just move on. I see that they because the first thing I thought when it was Temecula Road was they couldn't get Aloe Black. I mean, there's so many. There's so many like common black singers that are acceptable for white audiences. Acceptable that aren't so so big. Yes, that are kind of like no name, quote unquote. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. None of those. Nobody, but I do see they get Aloe Black later in the season. We saw that in the preview. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Thank God. Yeah. Please, Jesus. Mm. Now the next day, group date time. The ladies meet up with Matt. He's wearing a bowling shirt and some Mm -hmm. tight ass skinny jeans. Mm -hmm. (laughs) They head to a bowling alley and they're just gonna bowl, eat chicken tenders, have fun. It's cute. Going on a little. It seemed like a birthday party almost. (laughs) <laughs> very like <laughs> fourth grade birthday uh-huh yeah but fun i loved a bowling birthday not gonna lie yeah same mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um now here comes chris harrison to ruin everything yeah <laughs> he only comes uh, in with shitty news these days huh? always yeah, yeah turning this fun little day into mm-hmm. a competition yet yeah again. why do we need this i don't know the producers got my becky of the week for this one oh, fantastic yeah. Why does everything have to be a competition? Why does the losing team have to go home? I know. I don't know if they just see that he's boring and they're like, fuck. <laughs> we got to create the drama with we the ladies, do Some kind of drama. Yeah. Yeah. I just don't understand. Like, let the winning team get a something. Like, give yeah. them a little prize. Right. But to punish the losing team to send them home. home. When it's yeah. so hard to get time already. Like, I don't yeah. I hate that for them and for just us watching the show because I'm still not getting to know Chelsea and Abigail the and girls, the people who right. want to go home. Yeah. yeah. Um, so anyways, pink team's crushing it. Somehow the blue mm-hmm. team came up with a miracle, but <laughs> they ended up losing in the end. And so mm-hmm. um, who had to go home? Abigail, Serena C. Yeah, um, Rachel. Rachel, Kit, and Brie. Yeah. Sure. Um but it sucks the most for Abigail and Serena C who have not had one-on-ones. Yeah. So yep. I know they're super frustrated. And mm-hmm. yeah, this this battle for time just seems worse than ever this season, it feels like. Yeah, and it's just so weird because at this point, this is Rachel's boyfriend. This is Kit's boyfriend. Mm-hmm. This is, you know what I mean? So it's getting mm-hmm. weird on these group dates. So. Very, very strange. Uh, yeah. Now, back in Emma Collin, Piper and Katie are you know, sitting around when the bowling losers come back mm-hmm. and um, are basically in tears because yeah. they're like, yeah. Abigail's literally going crazy. She got the mm-hmm. first impression rose and then yeah. like has barely seen him since. Mm-hmm. Um, and it sucks. And thankfully Chris Harrison comes in to save the day and drops off a date card, letting the ladies know that they can go back mm-hmm. to join Matt and the rest of the ladies. Um, now back on the group date, all the winners are like, turn up, we won, mm-hmm. we get, it's only four of us, we get so much time with Matt, mm-hmm. 
and then the losers walk in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, they were, like, calculating. Kidding. They were like, there's a 25% chance one of us gets that rose. Like, <laughs> yeah. oh, my God, you all are doing math? Like, doing oh, God. Math. <laughs> oh, it sucks. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Chelsea's over it because she's one of the ladies say yeah. still hasn't had a one-on-one. Yep. And now she's like, damn, I thought I had a one in four chance. Now I'm back to one in nine. Mm-hmm. And really sucks. Um, so, yeah, they, they have a nice little one-on-one time. Again, not really getting much from these these moments Mm -mm. um but time for the group date rose and he gives it to michelle which Um, which i love michelle rihanna light i love michelle too i don't know why she got the rose though i don't know why (laughs) i'm confused very confusing Um, and she just had a one-on-one and chelsea didn't exactly so so very disappointing. I feel like he could have strategically given it to one of the ladies who didn't have a one-on-one. Yeah. Just to give them the validation that yeah. they definitely need. Yeah. Yeah. Michelle, I don't think she needs a validation, but Mm-mm. I guess that's what his heart was feeling at the time. Also, Chelsea, I know we don't usually do this, but Chelsea got my invite to the cookout purely for this yellow dress. Oh, yeah. Specifically for this Great. big... Yes. Oshun energy that she was giving, this big <laughs> yeah. feminine energy that she was yes. just spewing in this dress. I love Glowing. it. Glowing. I love yellow on a dark skinned girl. Oh yeah. my God. No looks combo so looks good. better than that, I feel yeah. like. Yeah, well, or mm-hmm. white. I love white. Or white. On a or white girl. on a mm-hmm. dark skinned girl for sure. Yep, yeah. yep. Um, but yeah, I know I know she's like, Oh, I feel better where we stand, and then didn't get the rose. Yeah. It's just so it's getting confusing now. It's getting weird. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And also, Matt, I don't think he's thinking through the strategy. No. <laughs> like, you can strategically be giving these roses. You yeah. should, in my opinion, should have given it to a girl that didn't get a one-on-one. Didn't get a one-on-one. Just to kind of yeah. make her sit tight. Mm-hmm. But he didn't think that far. So. <laughs> Meanwhile, Heather, with her freakishly deep dimples, them shits, I feel like they're, <laughs> like, touching even. on the inside. <laughs> And she's vlogging, and it's so close. Her, like, icy blue fucking eyes are, like, piercing my my soul. (laughs) Yeah, she is real close to the camera. Real close. You see the depths of the dimple, and you see the iciness of the eyes. Mm. Oh, man. Yeah, she's um, a lot. She's still, you know, doing her thing in the room, I guess. Mm -hmm. Now, next up, we have Matt meeting up with Tyler C. Mm -hmm. His bestie showed up in a jeans and t-shirt. What up? Even <laughs> regular, but he's still fine as shit. Like, he still came onto that camera, well. and I was like, oh, my God, you couldn't even put a sweater on, but the, in my back of my back head, mm-hmm. I was like, God damn, that man fine. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Tyler C. is a treat. Ooh. He is a treat. Mm. And it's so funny, because when he started, I, I remember yeah. when Hannah B. season started, yep. I refused to like this man. Yes. I did not trust him. I was yeah. like, this face, I don't trust this face. Yeah. yeah. I don't like yep. it. It's too pretty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Looks too much like a Kennedy. Yeah. Something about it, ain't it? Yep. And then he just grew on us. I and know. He's just undeniably good looking. Ugh. Um, I'm a Tyler C. fan. Can't help it. Mm-hmm. So uh, he arrives. He's, um, you know, just chatted up with Matt and mm-hmm. kind of prepping him, I guess, for his one-on-one with Katie. And... I thought he gave some pretty good advice and some insight. He said that, you know, some relationships will start later Mm -hmm. on Mm -hmm. the show. That's what happened with him and Hannah. They had a good connection, but didn't really blossom until the, like, further in. Yeah. So he advised him to just, like, stay open. Mm -hmm. You know, even girls who don't have one-on-ones yet, that could still be your girl. Like, stay open to everybody. He really Uh, is one of the best to give the advice because, really, he should be engaged to Hannah right now. (laughs) Yes, you know, he should like, have won. He should have won. He should have yeah. won. Mm-hmm. He literally should be with Hannah. Yep. God. Um, and yeah, it was cute. He just seemed really happy and like giddy for his friends. Like mm-hmm. even hearing Matt say like he can see himself get down on one knee. He was like, "Oh man, you about to be booed oh, up!" Like, oh man, <laughs> it was cute. Very cute. <laughs> cute little moment. Um, now time for Katie's one-on-one. She meets Matt at the spa. She mm-hmm. does the whole run, jump, hug. Mm-hmm. No kiss though. Did you notice yeah, just, that? Yeah, just just a snuggle. Just a snuggle <laughs> and a run, jump, hug. That yeah, was it. yeah. Which already I was like, this ain't looking good. Yeah, Katie. yeah. This. I was like, she's going home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> this ain't it. Mm-hmm. 
Um, but yeah, Matt lets her know that his best friend Tyler is here mm-hmm. and Tyler thinks he's getting a massage, but actually his masseuse is an actor and we're going to be like in her ear kind of telling her what to do and kind of mm-hmm. like pranking Tyler. I'd be so um, mad. You'd be, I know because this has nothing to do so with us mad. getting to know each other. Or the spa. I would like to go to the spa, sir. True. It is That's October true. in quarantine. That is true. I would I, like to go to the spa. I thought it was going to be a spa date at first. Me and too. then they were pranking Tyler. I was like, oh, that sucks. Yeah. That's but I thought, that, I thought it was a fun concept. Maybe not for a first one-on-one. Yeah. Yeah. But I thought it was fun and cute seeing kind of like see their personalities or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, they basically go behind a room and Tyler's mm-hmm. just walking all willy-nilly. Like literally got a hidden camera show. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Coming to get his massage before he yep. like dips out in Emma Cullen. Mm-hmm. Um, and so yeah, they're in the ear of the masseuse. They're telling her to like rub his nipples and like roll mm-hmm. this like pin on his head. <laughs> yeah, and, rolling pin <laughs> all over him. <laughs> Katie calls her up on the phone. She's having a full-blown conversation yep. talking about, oh my God, I'm massaging Tyler C. He's so hot. Yep. Um, and he's just kind of sitting there like, the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Where am I? Hey guys, that's a little taste of this week's episode. If you want to hear the full recap, head on over to patreon.com slash two black girls, one rose and sign up to get weekly recaps and other bachelor content from us. See, See you next week. week.